What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Showdown segment. Now, I have to apologize for being gone for so long because basically Watch Dogs took over my life. That game is amazing and I've just been playing it non-stop. But now I'm finally back into the regular flow of things, so expect videos on a more frequent basis now. Watch Dogs, man, seriously. I mean, I don't know if the game is for everybody because it kind of got mixed reviews more towards the negative side, but I mean, it's still very entertaining to me. And, you know, I'm a Ubisoft fanboy, so that might just be why I like it so much. <laughs> But I mean, hey, you you know, you always got your fanboys, and I'm definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, you know, Assassin's Creed, all about that. But anyways, so today we are going to be playing some more Pokemon Showdown using the same old team. I know I should change up the teams a little bit more, but you guys already know what kind of person I am at this point. I kind of try to stick with the same guys and work things around with them. Now, one thing is that I'm actually playing for ranking, so let's just join a chat really quick and see if we can um, tell what our ranking is. Um, let me see. So, ranking. Right now, on this account, this Nigetica account, I, it, you actually can't even pronounce it a certain way. It's just Nigetica. So, whatever. But anyway, so as you can see right here, my OU ranking right now is 1,444. We have 54 wins, 35 losses. So, you know, that's not the greatest, but I mean, it's not horrible at least, you know? So, anyways, let's, let's, let's rank up a little bit more, too, you know? I think we really need to try. Um, try leveling up a bit more just because I mean well not leveling up but you know just ranking up a bit more because I think this team is really solid and you know I kind of want to I kind of want to get to the top of the ladder using Pokemon that aren't exactly seen that often you know I, I think that would be a really cool accomplishment to pull off considering the top of the ladder has a lot of standard stuff in it so anyways right now let's go with uh, a Sceptile I, they always lead with Talonflame though and Talonflame is the biggest problem but if I lead but then he might leave with Galvantula, knowing that, hmm, I think, I think probably, let's see how it knows for and see what this guy wants to do. Alright, so he's going to go into his Talon Flame here, and that's not too bad. I'm, I'm thinking about hitting this thing with a Brave Bird straight off the bat, you know, I kind of want to, but I'm just going to go with Cuddle Lanix because, at least with Cuddle Lanix, I'll be able to slow his attack down, and if he does go into Galvantula, which I'm predicting to happen, then at least I can predict that and switch maybe into like my Darmanitan or something, you know? But then again, Darmanitan isn't faster than Galvantula, so... I don't know, I mean, uh, Galvantula kinda would be a little bit tough to play around. Let me start the timer on this dude so he doesn't take that long. But, yeah, I, I'm predicting that when I go into Gyarados, he's gonna switch into his Galvantula, probably to set up a sticky web. Considering that most of his teammates are slower Pokemon, I can see that happening, but we're going to go straight up for a waterfall here now because you know I know the waterfall for a fact is going to do a lot of damage and on top of it all, I highly doubt that this guy is going to be able to um, take a waterfall that well from Galvantula's standpoint. He's going to go into Ferrothorn, but that's okay because we do have, oh man, he has Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, what a standard set, but okay. So we're going to go for the Taunt now, I'm feeling like the Taunt's the best option, although I kind of want to go for Dynamitan. No, 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 let's stop those rocks. Yeah, none of that shit. But okay, and now, why don't we get up some rocks of our own, since he really wouldn't have anything to stop him. He's gonna go for a power whip, that's okay. Stuff rocks. Let's set them shits up. You know, cause hey, at least that way his Talon Flame and his Galvantula will get some pressure before they, um, when they come back in. You know, that, that would be the greatest thing to have right now, because, and I don't think he has a way to spin them other than Blastoise. Well, then again, Blastoise is the main spinner. Probably his Mega Evolution, too. If anything, I use Blastoise and Galvantula on the same team, but Galvantula kind of is a staple on a lot of teams, so I can't really say that he's using my sets or anything. But he's probably going to go for a knockoff now, which is pretty damn obvious. So I'm going to go for my um, Copulator right now, just because I'll be able to... Oh, shit. Damn. Okay. I thought he was going to go for a knockoff. I really thought he was going to, but all right, he didn't. So I'm thinking, perhaps... Damn, that was a bad move on my part. Let's go for Cuddle Lanix. Slow his attack down a little bit, and then we can switch into something. I don't know, I didn't... I thought he was really going to go for the knockoff, because I have a Mega Stone, so he wouldn't be able to knock that off. And plus, I'd be able to Mega Evolve in his face, but... I'm not trying to take too many hits here. Damn, that Poison Jab... Then again, he got the crit, so of course... Yeah, it wouldn't be affected by... Um, it wouldn't be affected by... Uh, my Intimidate. Damn. I really want to get a chance to go into Darmanitan to be able to hit this guy with like a Zen headbutt or something. 
but... Okay, you know what? This is go for the waterfall. Hope for the flinch. No flinch. Damn. But, you know, we still got our man in his hand now, so now something has to die. And, uh, let's see what this guy's going to choose. We could go for the Zen headbutt and do a lot of damage. Now, the Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz, yeah. Flare Blitz, definitely. Just because. You know, they act like... The, the sheer power of Flare Blitz, I think it would do more damage than Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt's only base 80. But alright, so he's in there with Black Source now. And this is a problem because he's going to kill something. I know that for a fact. Right now, Copulator kind of... Copulator isn't really too effective with this team right now. Because all this Pokemon will either be faster. Like, I know for a fact that his Galvantula will be faster. So Raptor was... I mean... Um, Talonflame would definitely be faster. Hmm, <clears throat> Ferrothorn. He would be faster than Ferrothorn, so it might be good to keep Copulator around for that later on. But I want to keep my Skeptile for later on as well, too. My Metagross isn't really too worth. <laughs> Metagross is never useful for anything. Like, goddamn, man. I kind of feel bad. Well, I mean, besides setting up rocks, but I mean, damn, Metagross, I kind of feel bad for this thing. You know, it's kind of like never really in a position to do much work. But alright, so now we have my my Sceptile in there, who is going to go for the obvious Leaf Storm. But it's a little bit too obvious. He has so many switches in for Grass Moves. For all his Pokemon besides Blastoise can take a Grass Move with no problem. So I'm predicting a switch out here. Yeah, I'm definitely predicting a switch out here. I, I'm predicting Talonflame to come in, to be honest with you. And I wouldn't really have much for it. Shit. But if Talonflame does come in, would it really be able to take... Yeah, yeah, it would, because it quad resists Grass Moves. Let's go into Nosferatu. Let's go into Nosferatu, because I can see the switch coming. I know you're not going to let your Blastoise die here, are you? You're not really going to let your Blastoise die here. Of course not. So he's going to go into Gudra now. And, uh, hmm. Gudra, I didn't predict that to come in. You know what, fuck it, let's just go for a straight up damage. He's gonna, oh wow, what the fuck, is this a Choice Scarf Gudra? He was actually faster than me, so yeah, it was definitely a Choice Scarf Gudra. <laughs> Did not see that coming at all. Holy shit. But, um, okay, man, we managed to get out of that with our balls intact, so... At this point now, I'm predicting most likely Talonflame's going to come in just to clean up on me. He's gonna go with Ferrothorn. And the Ferrothorn's gonna set up rocks. I know that much, but we can at least go into Darmanitan and do a lot of damage to something. So, this is okay. Now, you know I'm gonna go for the fire move, so I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. Hoping to hit Blastoise. Yes, there he comes. The Earthquake's not boosted up by, um, by Sheer Force, but it should still do a lot of damage. And now I'm gonna go for the Zen Headbutt, which is boosted by Sheer Force, and he should die from this. Still doesn't die?! God damn, Blastoise! And now I got rocks on my side of the- Oh, come on! Really? Zen Headbutt did not- Why did Zen Headbutt not kill him? It's powered up by Sheer Force, Life Orb, and, um, sure, it's not as much base power as Earthquake, but... Damn, man. Alright, well. Another Zen Headbutt, then. Damn, that was not expected. That was definitely not expected. Hmm. Alright, we're in a little bit of a bad position now, because... This guy can revenge kill us right now. No problem. Fuck. We have to switch. Let's go for the copulator. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to... Nah, no. I had to, I had to, I had to watch some stuff on my puzzle. But yeah, um... We're not, we're not really in a good position right now. We're really not. That Talonflame, fucking Talonflame, always ruins, always ruins my day with this team, man. Because we really don't have much forward outside of Gyarados, but Gyarados usually goes down so early, so... When it comes to revenge killing, Talonflame is definitely at the top of the charts. But alright, we gotta go into Nosferatu. And, um, just go for the... Yeah, just go for the Braver. I mean, we pretty much lost this game anyways, because Talonflame is going to be able to clean up everybody. Easily. And he has a sash. Of course. Of course he does. Not even surprised. Though. Probably the default was the best option. But then again, he would have had the focus sash, so what would be the point of it, you know? Anyways, well, Sceptile is going to be faster than this thing. 
So it might as well just go for a hidden power ice or something right now. Or rather, you know what? Let's just go for a focus blast. Just just on the off chance that he goes into Ferrothorn, we can hit this thing. But Sceptile doesn't really have that much power in the special side. I mean, he, his special stat is higher than his attack stat, but for some reason, he doesn't really get that much special coverage. So a lot of people were suggesting that he use a physical Sceptile, which I can totally understand because, you know, at this range, Sceptile really doesn't do much unless it's packing physical moves because it has Sword Dance to, um, to power up his own physical side. So it benefits more from that and it has better coverage on the physical side too considering that it gets like acrobatics and whatnot so you know I was just experimenting with special sweepers I, my, my septile was my approach at getting Rotom Wash but how come I haven't seen a single Rotom Wash with this team yet and I've gotten the 1444 it doesn't make any sense but alright this guy pretty much won this game it, 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 without a doubt I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try man it, it's pretty much a wrap Talonflame the smart bomb bird once again <laughs> takes the game and you know, I I know they don't have much for it on this team though, besides Gyarados. So I gotta I gotta really work around that. I gotta figure out what I can do for this team to help against Talonflame because that thing is really common. It's a problem. It's it's definitely a problem. So you know, I got that to deal with.